Can we get closer to forecasting eruptions by studying a volcano's eruptive history? Hi, my name is Mia and I'm a PhD student at the University of Auckland. I study volcanic hazards at Mount Tangariro, which is an active volcano at the central North Island of New Zealand. For my project, I tried to find out which were the biggest explosive eruptions in Mount Tangariro and where did they come from. Mount Tangariro is a volcanic complex. That means it's made up of many cones and craters. It's been active for the last 300,000 years, with several eruptions in the last 50 years, the most recent one just being in 2012. The fact that Mount Tungaruru is a volcanic complex means that there are different eruptive centers in different parts of the volcano. This makes hazard mitigation very challenging because we don't know where the next eruption will come from and where the ash will go to. I study the Mangamati Formation, which is made up of the deposits of many large-scale eruptions that happened 11,000 years ago. By doing so, we're trying to understand the volcano's behavior in the past, and this might tell us about what the volcano will do in the future. In order to identify the source of the eruption, I study the deposits around the volcano from the summit to over 20 kilometers away. At each location, I describe every layer in great detail and I measure the thickness of each layer. I also find the 10 biggest clasts in every layer and I measure them in order to find out how high the eruption column was. At some locations, I collect samples of ash and lapilli from the different layers and take them with me back into the lab. To see what the grain size distribution is and what the fine material is made up of, I sieve the samples and I look at them underneath the microscope. We also measure the density and porosity of about 100 clasts of each layer. We cut some of the lapilli and make thin sections out of them in order to see what the minerals and the vesicles inside them look like underneath the microscope. The Tongariro Alpine Crossing is the most popular hiking trail in New Zealand and the number of people that visit the volcano every day increased from 400 to more than 3,000 in the last five years. My research so far found out that some eruptions in the past were even sourced from multiple vents at a time. This has important implications for hazard mitigation plans around the volcano. We hope that this project results in a better understanding of multiple sourced eruptions at volcanic complexes like Mount Tongariro and others around the world. <laughs>